If you've just started silk screening and you're new to this and you want to know all the basics to do silk screening on a t-shirt, stick around and I'll show you how I made this one. If you're starting your screen printing journey, like me, I suggest you start off with simple designs with solid colors, such as this Yeti that we're going to be using. And when we talk about solid colors, there is no shading in involved in this image here. We've got our white, our blue, and our pink for our tongue. And we're going to be using these solid colors because it's going to be a lot easier since we are cutting our um, screen posi out of vinyl. And now once that you've selected your solid colors, now you need to break them down into three different screens. And by doing so, looking on the screen, I've done that and I've separated them all in their different little screens. Now that we've separated our screens into the individual colors, now we need to cut them out. So for the starters, we're going to start with our white and go and cut it out. And as you can see there, the Yeti that we have there, our white, with its background. The reason why we have a background here is simply because we want to try and block out most of the screen as possible so that when we are uh, doing our printing that none of the ink runs out through to the shirt. Cool, now that we have separated our screens, we're ready to cut, make sure that we line up our cutter and then we're good to go. Using vinyl as our posi, so to speak, there is no difference in terms of cutting. If you're cutting vinyl normally, this is exactly how you would cut vinyl in any circumstance. Um, your pressure would stay the same, there's nothing special about what we're doing here other than the fact that we're going to be using the vinyl on our screen to make our posi. And instead of weeding normally from the outside in, we're going to be weeding from the inside out, simply because we want the inside picture and we want the background to be blocked out so that when we squidge the ink, we've got our picture and not a rectangle uh, print. Once we've weeded our vinyl, now we can move over to applying backing tape to our vinyl so that we can apply it to our ready-made screens. Once we've made our screens and applied our vinyl with the backing tape, we block out all the areas we don't want the ink to um, come out onto the t-shirt. Now we can attach to our silk screening press and we can now put our t-shirt onto the board, make sure that we apply our adhesive whether you do spray on glue, liquid glue, or double sided tape, any of those will do. Switch on our heater, and we're ready to start softening. AN.co.za stocks a great variety of inks for all your printing needs. LED UV inks for high quality UV printing. Screen printing inks for screen printing. Sublimation inks for heat press applications and echo solvent inks for large format canvas and vinyl printing. Water based inks for paper printing and DTG textile pigment ink for garment printing. Our inks come in various sizes for your convenience from 100 millimeters to 1 liter. We stock cleaning solution for everyday use, as well as Epsom liquid for print head lubrication. So, whatever your printing needs are, you can be sure to find a suitable solution all under one roof, right here at am.co.za. And the inks that we're going to be using here is our Plastisol Black, Blue and Pink we're going to be making up of Red and White. Now that we've put our ink onto our screen, before we go and push this ink onto the t-shirt, we need to pull the screen halfway down. Now we need to take our squeegee at a 45 degree angle and pull it towards us with quite a firm grip so that the ink is pushed towards you. Now lift the screen up and you should see some ink protruding from the screen itself. And if you see that, then you can put the screen down completely and then pull it back towards you. And then push it back towards the machine. Now you have successfully pushed the ink through the screen onto the t-shirt and you can lift your screen back up again. 
Now that that's done, we can push it over to the dryer. Once it's dried for it's a lot of time, now we can move over to the next color. And then you just repeat the process from there until you've finished all the colors and the t-shirt is dry. I've also done a negative of the white shirts and I've done the exact same artwork on a black shirt and just reversed the white with the black ink. Now let's have a look at both of them and compare them to see what I like and what I don't like and what I can improve on and maybe change to make this process a whole lot better. Looking at the two shirts here, we can see that um, on here we've got a lot of black ink, especially around our chair and it looks like it's bled a little bit. And that's purely from me pulling and pushing too much ink through the screen and now it's obviously come down all at once and it's now bled into the blue lines and it's just done what it's not supposed to. Whereas if you look over to the, the negative of the shirt, over here I didn't put enough ink and it's got a crisp edge and it's looking a lot better than the white shirt. Again, I didn't pull enough times through the screen so that, I know what I did wrong there, um, and that's especially with the white and the blue here. Going back to the white shirt, I see that there's two stripes going through the artwork here, um, and I suddenly realized what those were. I've used double-sided tape on the board, and unfortunately that little dip in between has now left two lines going through our artwork here. So I need to switch over from using 2A tape to adhesive spray on, or liquid adhesive works much better because it's flush throughout the whole board and that will take away those two lines that I've created there by mistake. Other than that, I'm very impressed with this uh, type of printing, the silk screening. It's really nice in the shirt, it's dried nicely. Um, you can give it a good stretch. It's not gonna come off. It's gonna last a very long time. Other than that, I'm very impressed. It looks pretty cool. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Plobosili Kumalo, a level 6 local guide who has 64 reviews all over the country says, the tech support team is on point. I had an issue with my machine. I called them and they said I must bring it in. The person who helped me checked everything and made sure everything was 100%. Kind staff members helped me load my machine in and out of my car. This was just one of the many appreciative reviews we have received. 
These tags mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. Level 7 reviewer Dash Somalu, who has 119 reviews on Google, says, Great company, great products and very well-priced items. The training we received from Messias Chunga was top-notch. He was very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. Another satisfied customer amongst many. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.